Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is June 21st, 2017. Whew, my 72nd outing of this year. And I think you guys already realized that on this Rhode Island trip so far, we have done only freshwater fishing, right? Son, look at that! My brother-in-law just caught a little summer flounder on the Gulf right here. Well, I have bad news for you though, that ain't 19 inches. But still, yeah, the gold minnow is working, yeah? That's beautiful. I was saying, you know, today we got a little bit of time away from the family. My brother-in-law, my dad and I, we're fishing here, you know, at this Fort Adams State Park. Everything pretty improvised. I just Googled it, you know, I found it on Google Maps and we came here to hit the spot, you know. So we got to do a little bit of fishing. We got a nice flounder, you know, there's got to be some fish around these areas, right? So stay tuned. We're going to set up some shrimp and see how things go. Oh, you can, you can see like a small, oh, you can. Oh, sea robin. Yeah, you can see like a small sea robin. Check that out, huh, guys. First species of the day, sea robin. Good old northern sea robin. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish right here. Yeah. Chosen, chosen. Okay. All right, guys. First species of the day, we got a beautiful northern sea robin right here. Check that out, huh? All in its glory. Go back where you belong. Look at that. Happy to be gone. So today we're fishing Adams Park here in Newport, Rhode Island. There's a bunch of people fishing here right at the end of the park today. A little bit windy for my taste, but you know, I'm sure we're gonna catch some fish. So to get things started here, let me just show you, we're fishing right along a wall and I guarantee you guys, there's gonna be some smaller species of fish right along this wall. My dad just landed a sea robin. That's a good sign that out there, there's some fish as well, but you guys know my gig. I am all about the species. So I gotta go with a very small hook. We're gonna put a size eight or a size 10 hook, check what it is against the wall first. Then we're gonna put a bigger hook and see what is out there, all right? So stay tuned because today it should be good. Gotta be careful now. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. I knew there's gotta be something small along this wall. Let's see what we got. Look at that little bergal, huh? They call it the chalk set or the cunner, the Tautogolabrus aspersius. A beautiful one, too. Check that out. Perfect cut bait if you need it, all right, guys? Amazing. I was going to save this little fella as cut bait, but my father says we just gotta use the shrimp, you know, we don't really need it, so bye bye. <laughs> so, well, that was a nice hook set. Mm. My dad saying that the bite was very light. Probably a scup. Yeah, that's a nice size right there. Wow, good stuff. There you go, guys. Huh? This is a nice cup right here. It's got to be 10 inches to take in Rhode Island. I know about that. This one is good to go. Oh, easy. Yeah, it's nice. Hey, man, everything on the medium light fights good. <laughs> Oh, let's take a look, let's take a look. It's gonna be 10 inches. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that's a nice sea bass, my man. Holy moly. Yeah, now it's only, whoa. Man, son. That ain't no scup. That's a nice sea bass. Woo Look at that. Holy cow, man. 
All right, guys, apparently black sea bass is not really in season here in Rhode Island right now. So we're going to unhook this fella real quick here and put him back in the water. There we go. This guy is not really in season. This is a beautiful specimen going back directly where it belongs. All right. Look at that. Good stuff. Oh, that's got something. Oh, he's nagged. Quagarula. Uh, it's on, it's on. Oh, it's a nice fish. This is a nice fish. It's a nice fish. It felt like it was nagged when he hooked, you know? But no, that's a nice fish. Whatever, whatever that is, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Careful with my rods over there. Yeah, when he said the hook, I was just like, what is that, you know? It's a nice fish, man. Pool dragon everything. I don't know. We'll see. But it's something something nice. Whoa, it's a big ass tau tog, isn't it? That's a yeah. tau tog. Yeah, it's out of season though, but it's a tau tog. Holy moly. Let me try to pull it by the line. Apology, Paula. Oh yeah, son! Look at that. That's a big tail talk, dude. Holy moly! Look at that. Gee. All right, this is gonna be the biggest dog that I've seen. We gotta release this guy right over here. Boom! There he goes. It's out of season. You gotta let the fish go. You know what I'm saying, guys? But that was a nice catch, though. Beautiful. Bring it back. Jeez, Louise. Thought it was going to do something a little bit smaller, but look at that, ain't eh? not bad. Not big, but look at that a little scoop. Beautiful colors on this guy too. Spiny. Just like a porgy should be. Finally, I caught something guys here, fellas. Gotta tell you, it's been a tough day for me. My dad is being slain then on the rig, but for me, look, this is the biggest catch of the day so far, right? And not really 10 inches, so... <laughs> Gotta take a photo and release this guy. Oh. Man, super light. I think this one, not big again, but, oh, you know what? Okay. It's got some power to it, big or not. Man, the bite was so light. This ain't no joke, this fish. All right, come up here. Let's see the size of this fish. I don't know quite yet what it is yet, guys. Probably a scope, a scope. But, uh, oh, dude, check that out. That's why it's a freaking flounder, man. <laughs> of all the things that I could catch, check that out. We caught a flounder, guys. Well, flounder, summer flounder here is actually 19 inches. This one's definitely not 19. You know, I can eyeball it, and this one's not 19. So I just gotta take a photo, and we're gonna release this dude. All right, guys, final view of our summer flounder here. This one was 16 and a half, not quite 19. So it goes back to grow up even more. Look at that. Yeah, man, that flounder should be happy that this Asian actually releases its fish when it's not legal size, you know? No, I'm just joking. I always got to follow the rules and regulations, right? My dad is getting pissed because he lost three fish in a row. <laughs> this fish is gonna suffer the wrath of the Asian folk for sure. Need to other some of Pinjo. He says it's probably a scup. So we will see, we will see. Is it really a scup? 
He said it's not a big one, though. He said it's just a small one, baby, baby one. He only goes after the Giants, man, like Black Tip H, you know what I'm saying? This is how he rolls here. No Goliath grouper here, though. Let's see, let's see what we got here. He's been landing some weird stuff today. Oh, no, yeah, it is a scup. It's a scup. That is a, it's a little scup. Yeah, all right, check this out, huh? Little scup. My dad said he's got a bite. Damn, son. Damn, son. <laughs> and the fish is actually on, man. That is savage. <laughs> <laughs> he said this is, this one's really small too. Man, that, that's a savage hook set right there, man. This is on a whole new level of savage. Let, let's see how small is this little scup. Poor dude. Oh, look at that. Man, dude is already flipping in the water. Look at that. Gee, that's a baby, man. That's a baby. This one definitely got to release it. Fong lava, fong lava, poor dude, go back. Oh, fish on. Come on, this has got to be a fish. Oh, it's not big though, but it is something. Well, something's still better than nothing, right? Considering that we haven't caught a lot of stuff today. Let's see what it is. Oh man, look at that. It is a baby scup. Look at that. I mean, beautiful colors, don't take me wrong. You no, know, the light, the bite is so light on this little phallus. And if you guys notice in this video, at the beginning, I wasn't really catching a lot of fish. You know, my father, on the other hand, he was on fire. So this is what I did, okay? At the beginning, if you guys notice, I was using this rod over here, right? The median. The medium heavy pen pursuit 2 with a kodiak 3000 i kind of realized that my line was actually too big okay i was using like 30 pounds fluorocarbon right and believe it or not this type of fish i didn't know this cup bites so light it actually matters you know i changed it to this lighter setup right you guys can see this is my pink setup here and i've been detecting the bites so much better ever since which is why i started landing fish and my dad he's like a professional when it comes to saltwater fishing right he used to do it back in china when he was a kid you know so he definitely understands this gig much more than i do i'm using a kind of a high low rig right one hook only so a kind of a dropper loop he is using a carolina rig oh yeah that's fish on Oh, my dad's saying that's a big one. When he says it's a big one, I believe it. Well, when he says it's a big one, it's a 10 inch plus probably, you know? Yeah, he said this one we can, we can harvest. All right, we will see about that, you know? He's calling the shots before getting the fish here. He's been on fire today on the Carolina rig. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. All right, that's decent. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty decent cup right here. We gotta measure, see, this is, I think that's bigger than 10. But uh, we gotta measure this big boy here. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's 11. 11 inches, good to eat, man. Fish on. Ah, uh, but why is it so small? Whatever it is. It doesn't even feel like it's on. Goodness gracious, that's why, huh? Look at that, <laughs> look at this, guys. You ain't gonna believe it. I cast it all the way out there, all the way out there. Look what, look who decided to show up, huh? Little black sea bass, look at that. Greedy black sea bass too, man. I'm using a circle hook, got my katsu right here, look at that. I mean, it's a beautiful baby, don't take me wrong, but definitely not what we're looking for. All right, guys, this is a very small fella, but it counts as a species, yeah? So we got four species for today so far. We got the little bergal, then we got the scup, 
we got the summer flounder and the black sea bass and we're gonna keep fishing here see what else we can catch so stay tuned fish on all right a little bit more weight to this one still small but at least at least it's fighting a bit yeah the small one look at that uh, look at that son it's too small it's too small but at least it's getting a little bit bigger no <laughs> we're gonna reach we're gonna reach the 10 inches soon enough all right guys look at that hooked on the side man oh boy go call your grandfather uh -huh. this one looks good let's see what he got mm. oh yeah let's see what is it rod's bending pretty good here Oh, sea robin. What's for one? Sea robin. Hmm, a big ass sea robin too. Look at that. Beauty. It's a beautiful fish. Look at that, guys. A beautiful little sea robin. Like I said, my dad is on fire, man. It's a beautiful fish. Oh, I'm snagged. No, that's fish. That's fish. There ain't no snag, brother. Dying those nag. Oh, look at that. Look at that, huh? Getting a little bit bigger here. I don't know if it's 19, but. Boom! Okay. Yeah, we'll measure this one. All right, let's take it easy here, Flounder. Let's take it easy. Ah! Oh, 18. Hold on. Pogo. Shit. Shit. No. All right, guys. 17, 17 incher. All right. So not quite the one that we need for today, but a beautiful fish indeed. Okay. There it goes. Oh, boys! Oh, that's a good one. That's that's a good one. My man, like my man, like my man, like. It was a nice hook set. We got the fog horn going on here too. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. That's a good one right here, boys. If it is a scup, it's gonna be a big scup. <laughs> calma, calma. Oh, it's a tow tog. It's a tail tug, it's a nice tail tug. There we go, beautiful. Yeah, Ponte. Tail tug is out of season, so. Ah, wrong deal, ba. All right, let's unhook this guy. Beautiful tail tug, out of season. We ain't gonna keep this one, guys. Final view. Beautiful tail tug, huh? All right, back he goes. You can lay his eggs down there. It's about 6.30 p.m. right now. As you guys will come to realize, we got a little uh, very disturbing sound over here. Look at that, huh? The fog horn is destroying the whole mood over here, you know? And if you guys come to take a look on the other side, you will come to realize that the fog is really coming, all right? Suddenly, it's gotten real windy. So, I mean, we caught plenty of species for today. My dad, was on fire today needless to say i was very happy doing some fluking at the end of the day sadly i landed only that one that you guys saw right but it is what it is right beautiful day down here in rhode island saltwater fishing has been treating me really well so thank you very much for watching today's videos guys and as always tight lines and until next time and in this household if you guys don't realize, you gotta work for a meal, you know what I'm saying? That's why we got the whole family out here trying to catch some panfish. We got my nephew here, Cripper Kid. How you feeling today, brother? Good. You gonna catch some panfish for us to see here? I don't know what a panfish is, but yeah. All right, let's go, it's a bluegill, brother. 
We got my sister here, who you guys probably never saw on camera before. Hi. She's gonna try to catch her first ever panfish today. Whoa, look at that, dude. We got my father over here. He's laying them bluegill. Look at that. Holy moly, guys. Holy moly. This is the size of the panfish that we gotta cook tonight. You see that?